Thank you, Charlotte. Let's uh, move on to a success story. Um, Abacus CAE and the 3D Experience platform in using the Quadro NVIDIA GP100. So first of all, I wanted to discuss a little bit about who we are, Tentech LLC. So we are services and solution provider. We perform design test, simulation and modeling services. The majority of our expertise comes from aerospace and defense. We are considered subject matter experts in structural dynamics and thermal analysis. We are an ITAR registered company. We're a woman-owned small business and with offices in California and Massachusetts. We assist manufacturing companies in designing better, safer products, faster and at a reduced cost. Uh, one of the tools we used uh, is uh, the Simulia suite of products and more particularly Abacus Standard as well as the 3D Experience platform. We use those products in the context of crash, shock and vibration from a system level approach down to a component level approach. So it could be an aircraft system, it could be an electronic component, uh, it could be anything in between. So the way we deployed the 3D experience platform in our company, uh, we chose to deploy the cloud-based version. So the, ben the main benefit of that is naturally that we have no deployment within five minutes of deciding we're going to use the 3D experience platform. We were already up and running. We use this um, with Katia, Novia, and Simulia working together. So this is something that's been in de deployed in our company since 2014. And we utilize Katia for design in multi-cat data management and assembly management. So we, we don't, uh, we're not limited to using Katia uh, or Katia data. We actually can manage and reuse uh, multi-cat assemblies. And we naturally use Simulia and the Simulia applications for stress and vibration and fatigue. So we see some examples of what uh, we use and how we use it. So for instance, we see simple component level, we see sub assemblies, major assemblies, and even top level uh, assemblies such as the, uh, the aircraft right here. Uh, we also use uh, the standalone version of Abacus Standard and Abacus CAE. Um, so this is again in the Simulia uh, brand of product. So we use this for stress, shock and vibration as well as electronics fatigue and reliability and crash and drop test. Uh, we have a certain number of applications that we wrote ourselves that sit on top of the um, Abacus standard and Abacus CA. So we see examples here of uh, major systems and subsystems as well as a, a detailed design and detailed analysis of um, ball grid arrays, for instance, looking at um, fatigue and reliability of electronics. So uh, the reason we decided to look at the uh, Quadro GP100 was the idea that one card can replace uh, two, two cards or initial systems were using Quadro M4000 or M6000 uh, for visualization. So pure graphics uh, for CAD and, and CA. Uh, and on top of that, we were using GPU computing. So we had a Tesla K40. So each machine uh, really contain a Quadro for visualization and a Tesla for GPU computing. So the idea was, let's, let's see if we can replace this with a single car. Um, so right off the bat, we see raw graphics uh, performance improvement with the GP100 compared to a Quadro M4000. Uh, so this is due to the fact that there's a larger memory, higher bandwidth, and faster memory as well. Um, on the GP, GPU, or so yeah, GPU acceleration side, uh, the GP100 has about 25% more, more CUDA cores than the Tesla K40, and the performance improvement over, over the K40 is at 2.5x, 2.5x depending, or even 10x depending on, on the application or the, uh, the, the, the type of floating points that, that we're looking at. And to even top it off, Having two cards on two PSU rails, so PCI Express rails, we, we were using it close to 350, 360 watts. Uh, now, we, because the, the Quadro 
requires 120 watts and the Tesla requires about 235 watts. Now we've replaced that with a single PCI rail in use because of the Quadro GP100 and this one requires only 235 watt stops. So we saved ourselves about 100 watts on the PSU load on all machines, which is overall improving the durability of, of the workstations we use. So we set a certain number of, uh, of benchmarks to ourselves, and those are typical applications. So those reflect exactly what we do every day. Uh, so the first one we looked at in the context of a 3D experience platform is in avionics chassis. Um, and we're looking at standard military applications. So this particular one would be a quasi-static analysis, uh, non-linear analysis. This is a somewhat uh, small model, at, at least for all applications, about 12 million degrees of freedom. And uh, we're running the, the Abacus solver in a non-linear manner, so it involves a little bit of contact, a little bit of non-linear material, uh, large displacement, so on and so forth. So what we noticed uh, with the, the, the inclusion of the GP, the Quadro GP100 is about 45% increase in, in, uh, in solver output, meaning that our solution time uh, drops sy systematically, whether we use 4-core, 8-core, or 12-core solutions. When we're adding that GPU to the mix, we drop our solution time by a good 45%. So those applications are, are not necessarily four, six hour solves. They might be two, three hour solve. So dropping, you know, 45% allows us to put in probably five or six iterations of the same analysis a day instead of three or four max. Uh, typically for those applications, we, we do maybe 12 up to 24 of those a day for a particular design, which is part of the, the, the military standard uh, for analysis of those, those type of, uh, of systems. So again, across the board, we see an increase in performance. Uh, we also see that a four core plus one GPU outperforms an eight core and practically outperforms a, a 12 core is very similar in performance um, and, and that has you know, that plays a role in, in our licensing and, and the way we can do things more efficiently. Uh, similarly, uh, a larger model, and uh, this one is still in the 3D expanse, and this is a nonlinear statics. This is a thermal stress analysis, so thermal expansion, isothermal uh, stress calculations. This is a bigger model, 26 million degrees of freedom. We see the same trend. Um, 50% across the board in terms of performance gain. And again, a 4-core plus 1 GPU is practically the fastest in there uh, compared to an 8-core and a 12-core. So we, again, can use all licensing or tokens in, in a much more efficient manner than what we'll do with uh, without. And Last but not least, uh, this is the same applications, but this time in the Abacus standard world. So we leave the, uh, the 3D Experience platform and we use the standard Abacus CAE and on a much, much smaller model. Uh, this time it's an FAA type of specification for a single board computer. So those are payloads that go inside uh, the avionics chassis. And typically we have to run uh, 18, 24 of those simulations uh, for a particular payload, particular uh, single board computer. So those are uh, the calculations we perform there uh, shock response spectrum up to 10,000 hertz. So there's a fair amount of modes that we have to calculate and then a response spectrum. Um, and, and across the board, again, on this example, we notice a large acceleration due to the GPU that allows us to gain 25 to 30% per iteration on, uh, on this model, which is not that big. So even on a much smaller model, even for solutions that are not necessarily uh, taking a long time, we can still gain 25% at least. So 25% in this case might, might be 15 to 20 minutes. So you'll, you might say not such a great gain, but when again, we have to do 18 or 24 of those multiplied by 15 minutes, 
we gain two, three hours a day back to our schedule, which in terms goes back to our customer and our ability to deliver faster. Um, so after all this and l looking at all this, we, we kind of looked at, at the ROI of the, the Quadro GP100. And it was pretty obvious that the Quadro GP100 made an absolute positive impact in our business. Uh, first of all, we replaced two cards with one, um, which on top of it performed about 50% faster across the board uh, for all applications being uh, graphics performance, being visualization, quality of visualization, and also uh, pure calculation raw power. Uh, simplifying the hardware is, is also a big deal for us because we have to well, we have to deal with all the hardware. We have to deal with drivers, with you know specific configurations, and which application can support which version of the driver, which application. Having a single card makes our life much much easier. Uh, on top of it, the, the the faster GPU computing has certainly allowed us to to do more with our tokens. So again, this is not necessarily a cost saving measure but more a, an efficiently, efficiency uh, improvement as far as our token usage. Uh, using four cores plus a CPU uses less, a GPU uses less than eight, eight cores, uh, three tokens less. So we can redistribute our tokens in, in a much better manner and, and more intelligently. So after reading all this and, and thinking back, given all business, uh, given all activities, we can easily say that the, the Quadro GP100 has an ROI for us of about two to three months. 